9, November 5, 1915. Catherine Stinson, the flying schoolgirl, thrills a crowd of nearly 4,000 on the opening day of the Southern Arizona Fair with her daredevil spirals and loop-de-loops, a perfect exhibition of flying as mortal eyes have ever looked upon. After her display of aerobatic antics, Miss Stinson dropped a mail sack in downtown Tucson to the cheers of a delighted crowd. Catherine Stinson, the fourth woman to obtain her pilot's license in the United States, was a well-known stunt and daredevil aviatrix. She billed herself as the Flying Schoolgirl and performed at exhibitions across the country. Miss Stinson was an excellent mechanic and designed and built airplanes, as well as piloted them. She and her mother formed the Stinson Aviation Company to, as they stated, manufacture, sell, rent, and otherwise engage in the aircraft business. Miss Stinson's scheduled appearance at the November 1915 Southern Arizona Fair caused quite a stir with the Tucson area townsfolk. The Tucson citizen marveled that they had received over 15 letters asking if the famed aviatrix would really travel to Tucson and perform. Miss Stinson was greeted by the Arizona Aero Squadron Association upon her arrival on the Sunset Limited. Her airplane was always dismantled, transported by train, reassembled for performance, then dismantled and shipped again to the next exhibition. Catherine Stinson's airmail drop in Tucson was the first official airmail in Arizona. Most of the Stinson family was involved in aviation. Sister Madge flew exhibitions, and brothers Jack and Eddie also flew. Eddie and Jack founded the Stinson Aircraft Corporation, which produced airplanes from the 1920s to the 1950s. Stinson became an employee of the United States Post Office Department, delivering mail by air, and also opened a flying school in San Antonio. During World War I, she offered her services as a combat pilot and was denied. She drove ambulances in France instead. One story reveals that she met her future husband, World War I pilot Miguel Otero Jr., son of a New Mexico territorial governor, in the hospital. She recovering from tuberculosis and he recovering from war wounds promised each other never to fly again. The couple settled in Santa Fe. Miss Stinson became an architect. In later life, she became ill and bedridden for many years, passing away in 1977. Catherine Stinson's bold and fierce spirit pioneered roles for women in aviation and the use of aircraft as a method for delivering the mail. 